Admit it. You like giving advice. Listen, Maeve has moved on, and so have I. That's it. Okay, end of story. Oh, why are you running from your true calling? Oh, running. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top seven facts about Shuti Gautwa. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at everything you need to know about Shuti Gatwa, the incoming 14th Doctor. Let us know in those comments how excited you are for Gatwa's Doctor and the return of Russell T Davis. Number 7. He's Scottish Rwandan Gatwa's family moved to Scotland in 1994, when he was just two years old, in order to escape the harrowing Rwanda genocide, one of the biggest atrocities in living memory. He grew up largely around Edinburgh, making him another Scottish doctor in a long line of them. This began with Sylvester McCoy back in the 80s, and continued with David Tennant and Peter Capaldi, though Tennant famously used a generic English accent rather than his real accent throughout his run. Oh, okay, I'll give up. Let's go and see him. Only time will tell whether Gantwa will adopt a different accent or keep his own, but it's always nice to have a doctor who doesn't speak in RP helming the TARDIS. Number 6. He got his big break on sex education. Young fans are already intimately familiar with Gatwa's work and talents thanks to his starring role in Netflix's Sex Education. Sorry. <laughs> He's played Eric, best friend of Asa Butterfield's character Otis, since the show began in 2019. Playing a prominent gay black character on a critically acclaimed and wildly popular show put Gatwa in the public eye for all the right reasons. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> He's received plenty of awards for playing Eric, who's won the hearts of young audiences everywhere. His existing fan base might pull even more young viewers to Doctor Who, bringing the show to a new generation. Oh, yeah. every day was a struggle to <laughs> remain professional. <laughs> Number 5. He's 29. Though he plays a teenager in sex education, he'll actually be turning 30 in late 2022. Since he won't debut in his own series until 2023, this will make him only slightly older than the fifth Doctor Peter Davison was when he debuted the role back in 1981. In the regeneration? I don't know. I can feel it isn't going to be as smooth as on other occasions. Though Gatwa definitely looks young, Matt Smith remains the youngest actor to take on the role, getting cast when he was just 26 as the 11th Doctor. Russell T. Davis is returning and already has a good idea of exactly what kind of actor the show needs at a given moment, as it was him who cast Christopher Eccleston and brought the show into the 21st century. With that in mind, we're sure Gatwa will be a fun and refreshing addition to the roster. Number 4. He went to the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland as well as having plenty of awards for his on-screen work as Eric, Gatwa is a fully trained and very talented actor, thanks to his bachelor's degree from the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland in Glasgow. Between graduating and landing sex education, he did significant theatre work, including playing the lauded role of Demetrius, one of the romantic leads in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Theatre work, especially of a very high caliber like performing at Shakespeare's Globe, is a blessing in any actor, so we're sure to see great stuff from him when he takes over in the TARDIS. Number 3. He used to be homeless. Though he was landing coveted theatre roles, Gatwa, like many, struggled a lot after making the move to London to follow his dreams. London is notorious for its high rents, high prices, and ruthless nature, and living in the capital was so costly that Gatwa actually ended up homeless for five months. This was while he was working, and he still couldn't afford to make ends meet and found himself sofa surfing up until landing sex education. At the time, he also had a temp job at Harrods. It's an incredible story to hear Gatwa has gone from being a refugee, through being homeless, to now picking up the sonic screwdriver and psychic paper and becoming an immortal part of British pop culture. Number 2. He had the last audition. Russell T has said that Gatwa was actually the very last actor they saw during the audition phase for the 14th Doctor, and that they actually already had a different actor in mind. 
but Gatwa blew them all away. Given his high praise, we absolutely can't wait to see what he does when the new series launches in 2023. Though it's worth remembering that he's going to appear far sooner when Jodie Whittaker regenerates, as well as in the celebrations the BBC is doing to mark 100 years of its existence. So we don't have to wait quite as long to see what must be a magnificent performance. Number 1. He'll be the first Black Doctor Jodie Whittaker already broke one major glass ceiling for Doctor Who when she was cast back in 2017, becoming the first woman to play Britain's most coveted television role. It's right there on the tip of my... What's that? Tongue? Tongue! Smart boy! Gantua is breaking yet another, becoming the first black actor to play the Doctor full-time. In 2020, Jo Martin did appear as the first black female Doctor, though her role as the fugitive Doctor was set way in the past, before the first Doctor, thanks to Chris Chibnall's extremely convoluted additions to the lore. Told you, love, I'm the Doctor. You can't be. Yeah, why's that? Because I'm the Doctor. But Gatwa will make history as the first full-time, permanent Black Doctor. In a show where the Doctor is a time-traveling alien who lives in an infinitely large police box powered by a collapsing black hole, we wonder why it took them so long to cast someone who isn't white. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.